Yo, vlog number eight. So yeah, you know I've been I've been you know good, you know I've been I've been busy. That's why I don't do videos, man. I haven't done a video in a while, but you know I'm here. And you see my flag at the back? That's probably because I'm leaving to Panama today. Well, not today. Tomorrow in the morning, like around 8 a.m. But I gotta be up. I gotta be up in the airport like by six. So you know, so you you gotta be early in the airport so you can get your stuff ready. You know, get go through all that stuff that you need to do before you get in the airplane, like the checks points and all that, like all that good shit. But yeah, man, I'm so happy about that. Like, I'm leaving. I gotta see my family. Gonna see people that I haven't seen in like seven years, and it's gonna be great. Like, maybe I don't look too happy right now because you know, like I know I'm gonna miss people. I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss like my my nephew. I'm gonna miss my nephew. I'm gonna miss my my sister. Like I'm gonna miss um, my close friends like Karen. I'm gonna miss um, Naomi. I'm gonna miss uh, my girlfriend Selma. I'm gonna miss so many people. Like it's it's incredible how like when you start thinking about how much people mean mean to you. Like you find out that you got so many people by your side that you just like can count on, and that's just great. But, but yeah, uh, let me tell you a little bit about what I've been doing, like, um, I spent like five days at my girlfriend's house, like, it was great, it was awesome, you know, when you're around people that you care for and you love, like, it's always a good time, um, I'm, like, I can say I'm pretty cool with friends, like, I don't know if you can call it close, but I, I can, I consider her a close friend, her sister, because my sis, my my girlfriend's sister, yeah. I consider her like a pretty cool friend because you know she comes to me when she like has something on her mind, like you know, and she asks for my advice, and then I tell her like stuff about me, and and you know we just kind of we know each other, so that's uh, I I think we got a good relationship, and I get along with her parents, my my girlfriend's parents, so that's that's like like hell yeah, like fuck. You know, of course, at the beginning, it was like, nah, you guys can't be together because she needs to focus on school. But at the end, like, her mom is so chill, like, and her dad, like, okay, her dad is, like, a little iffy. Like, she, he sometimes, he, he looks at me like, like, oh, you touching my daughter, like, what the fuck, and shit. But, like, nah, it's all good. It's all good. Like, we talk, and, and it's, it's just good. Like, it's... I can express myself and like joke around and they will joke with me and laugh so that's always a plus and I'm just happy because I really want to be with her and she wants to be with me and we just it's a good feeling to be able to hang out all of us together and not feel awkward about it and yeah what else I mean I, I, I went to visit I'm gonna tell you this because it was just a funny story. I went to visit a friend on county jail, and and you you hear the funniest conversations when 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 you just go to county because they start talking about like uh, like I don't know like baby mom baby mama drama and fucking like like I was uh, standing and I hear this like it happened to be like you know a, a sister. <laughs> A black girl, she was like, Oh, this nigga better pay my money, he better get the fuck out of here and stop paying my fucking child support. Shit. And then the girl, like, that was that she was with, she was like, Oh, I don't even know what you got with that nigga. She's like, Shit, I just got with him because I heard he got a big dick. And that motherfucker's huge. Shit. He's so big, he got up in my shit and got me pregnant. <laughs> like, she was funny, like, I'm not even joking. That shit was like, I heard that and I was just like, Wow. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's just funny shit. And, oh, uh, fucking, it's just sad to, like, see people in there, like, you visit them, and it's just, it sucks. It really sucks to see someone through a window and know that they can't enjoy life the way you're enjoying it because of the choices they made that made them get to that point. You know what I mean? And I promise 
I, I, you know, I promise so many people and I promise myself that I will never put myself in that situation. I will never, I will try my best to keep myself out of jail because I know what it is and I know how it is and I know how people live in there and I will never put myself in that situation. But yeah, man, that's all I'm going to say right now because um, I got to get shit ready. I'm not even done packing. That's my, my shit right there. Yeah, this place is pretty fucked up, but you guys can't be talking shit because you already know your fucking house ain't better than mine, motherfuckers. Not nah, explain, but yeah, it's pretty fucked up in here. Look, look at this shit, man. I never break out, and the day that I that I'm going to see people that I haven't seen in like seven years, my fucking face decides to break out. It's like one, two, three. Four, like, four big-ass fucking pimples the size of my fucking mushroom tip. <laughs> Shout out to fucking Hudging Twins. This shit's funny as fuck. If you don't know, if you don't know what Hudging Twins is, go to the search and look at them up. They're funny. But, yeah, um, subscribe to my video. Like my video. Post it, repost it. You know, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And next time you see me, I'll be in Panama. I'll take a lot of videos, like... Show you how it is over there, show you the nature, just all the good stuff because Panama is truly beautiful. And I hope you guys enjoy.